I used to think being wealthy, having lots of money, or driving expensive cars, or having a huge house. But being with you has taught me that true wealth is derived from the amount of love in your life. The more love you give and receive, the wealthier you are. And by that measure, you make me the wealthiest person in the world. From the moment our paths crossed, you've surprised me. You've distracted me, captivated me, and challenged me in a way that no human being ever has. I feel like everything in my life has led me to you. I've fallen in love with you again and again, countless times, without reservation. I still can't believe that today I get to marry my best friend. It would be an understatement to say my life has become infinitely better since you've become a part of it. You have become my best friend, my greatest joy, and most importantly, my soulmate. You absolutely deserve the world, and though I cannot promise you it, I can promise you this. I vow to love you every second every day the rest of our life. I promise to be true to you, to uplift and support you, to frustrate and challenge you, to share the beautiful and ugly moments of life with you. Most importantly, I vow to keep updating my vows as we go because one set of vows can possibly cover a lifetime of growing and changing with you, falling more and more in love with you every day, which is what I vow to do every day for the rest of my life. I vow to always be the back you can lean on, the shoulder for you to cry on, a hand for you to hold, and a heart for you to call home. And even though there will never be the correct combination of words for me to be able to tell you how much I actually love you, I vow to spend the rest of my life to show you. You are my always, you are my forever, you are my everything. Katrina and Cole, we've heard your promise to share your lives in marriage uh, and the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today and in the accordance of the state of Indiana it is my honor and delight to now pronounce you guys both Mr. and Mrs. Cole Chapin. Now Cole, the moment you've been waiting for, be surprised. But Cole and I first met around eighth grade. He was always getting picked on, picking up his books. I was getting him out of lockers. I mean, it was tough. But eventually, eventually, 
I came up, I was like, all right, dude, if you give me 50 bucks, I'll stop doing this to you, we'll be friends. <laughs> and uh, best friends ever since, came up with a pretty kick-ass handshake, so it's all been good. Um, I'll never forget the day that Cole asked my permission uh, for Katrina's hand in marriage. I was on my lunch break and sitting on my back porch at home and when I got a text from him saying, hey Tori, I think it's long overdue, but do I have your blessing to ask Katrina to marry me? I want you to keep Katrina in the dark about it though, so as far as she is concerned, I still haven't asked you. So trying to be very serious and professional, I responded with, hello Mr. Chapin. I want to be sure you know what you're getting yourself into. You must treat her right, and if you have to fight, you fight fair. If you're wrong, you let her know kindly. Always love her no matter what, and be sure she knows just how much you love her. If you can do these few things, then you most certainly have my blessing. I knew this was the right choice when he answered, not only do I promise all of those things, but I promise to treat her pain as if it were my own and her happiness as my number one goal. She will always have my attention, support, and my love. And I promise to love her sister as if she were my own sister through blood. Well, Cole, I hope you always remember these promises. And Katrina, I hope you'll treat him the same way he has promised you. I am so extremely happy for the two of you and cannot wait to see where this journey of marriage takes you. I love you both so much and know that you will be a truly amazing aunt and uncle to baby Thornton.